problem 165, uh, this is another example for relative velocity. Uh, here we have um, a football player. Uh, we have two people which are playing football. Uh, uh, this person, B, is moving from point P in this direction, 30 degree from the uh, vertical line, with a constant speed. Uh, and the speed of it is 7 yards per second or 21 feet per second. So velocity of B is constant and it is 21 foot per second. And this one is uh, throwing this ball to this guy. So at the moment that uh, player B starts to run from point P, this guy is shooting this ball. And this one is going to catch it at one point, let's say here. And the question is, in with what angle alpha A should uh, uh, throw the ball so this guy can catch it? So again, uh, the ball and also uh, A, both of them are starting uh, at the same time. B from point P and A from this point. So uh, we are going to have... Uh, a few unknowns here. This one is moving with a constant speed of 21 and the ball is moving with a velocity of 100 foot per second. We don't know uh, at what point it's gonna catch it. We need to find a proper alpha in order for this guy to, to catch it, right? So, um, uh, you need to think about this problem, I would say for 10 minutes at least. So I would recommend to stop this video before seeing the rest of it and think about it. Okay, um, if this guy is uh, moving with the velocity of 21 feet per second, and let's say it's gonna take uh, time t to, for this ball to, uh, to get to the hands of this guy, which is unknown, we don't know what is that time. But if we say that time is t from here to here, this line, this length, is going to be 21 times t. And also from here to here, the, the distance that the ball is, uh, is traveling, is going to be 100 times t. Velocity times t is going to be this displacement. And based on the information from the problem, we are assuming uh, the speeds are constant. They are not changing. So we don't know what is t, and also we don't know what is this alpha. So I have two unknowns here, which I need to uh, come up with two uh, algebraic equations to find these two unknowns. Uh, which you can simply just use the geometry uh, to construct those two equations. For example, uh, I can say, if you consider this point, this distance, the x of this, is gonna be 100 times t times cosine of alpha, is going to be equal to 15 yard plus 20t times sine of 20 uh, sine of 30 50 yard is going to be 45 feet and 21 times t times sine of 30 is going to be this distance that's one equation and we can do the same thing for in the y direction too 100 times uh, times sine of alpha, 100t times sine of alpha, is going to be equal to um, 45 minus 21t times cosine of 30. So 45 feet minus 21t times cosine of 30. Two equations and two unknowns. Mathematically, you should be able to solve this problem. Sometimes, um, um, the equations are not really linear equations and you need to be a little bit creative to solve them. Uh, for this one, um, for example, we can do different things. One of them is, um, is dividing both sides to t, then I'm gonna be able to separate alphas. So if I do that, I'm gonna have um, 100, times cosine of alpha is equal to 4 div uh, 5 divided by t uh, plus 21t 
times sine of 30. And uh, this one is going to be 100 times sine of alpha is equal to 45 divided by t minus 21 times cosine of 30. Now, uh, we have different options here. Um, one of them is um, using the fact that sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to uh, 1. And also, uh, we can, for example, find 45 divided by t from one of these equations and substitute it in the other one. So we are going to have only equation for alpha. So we eliminate t, actually. So uh, if, you, if you subtract these two equations from each other, then uh, that's going to do the job. Then t is going to cancel out, right? So if I do that, um, I'm going to have 100 times cosine of alpha minus sine of alpha is equal to 21 times sine of 30 plus cosine of 30. So I found the relationship between sine and cosine. And um, if you calculate this and divide it to 100, I'm going to have cosine of alpha minus sine of alpha is equal to point 287 or uh, or you can say uh, we have uh, for example cosine of alpha in terms of sine of alpha right so we can say cosine of alpha is equal to 0.287 plus sine of alpha and from the other side we know cosine of alpha is equal to the square root of 1 minus cosine squared uh, sine squared of alpha now, if you look at this, we only have sine of alpha. So I can um, um, make both sides of this equation to the power of 2 to get uh, rid of this square root. Then I'm going to have an equation only in terms of sine of alpha, a quadratic equation, which is quite easy. I'm going to let you do that part yourself. Uh, from there, you're going to find uh, uh, two solutions for sine of alpha, which one of them is going to be negative. Uh, the other one is going to be positive, which is our um, correct solution. And alpha is going to be equal to 33.3 degrees. After finding alpha, you can put it back in one of these equations to find t. Which I'm not going to write the details of it, you can do it yourself. And from there, t is going to be equal to 0.61. Um, Six. After finding alpha and t, now we have everything. We know what is the velocity of a and direction of it, and uh, we know the position and also the velocity of b, which we knew it from the beginning. Uh, the second part of the question is asking what is the relative velocity of a with respect to b? What is the relative velocity of this ball with respect to the receiver velocity of a with respect to b is equal to velocity of a minus velocity of b velocity of a uh, the magnitude is 100 and the direction is going to be cosine of alpha in the i direction sine of alpha in the j direction so i can write the velocity of a as 100 times cosine of alpha plus uh, in the i direction plus sine of alpha in the j direction minus velocity of b uh, velocity of b is uh, the speed of b is 21 and the direction of it is going to be sine of 30 in the i direction and negative cosine of 30 in the j direction then uh, you just need to multiply uh, these and also add them together and at the end, velocity of A with respect to B is going to be equal to 73.1 in the I direction plus 73.1 in the J direction. And the unit is foot per second.